Hey guys, what is going on? It's Fen here again, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install Re's Minimap mod and, of course, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shader mod. Now, these are two things that will enhance your Minecraft so much that it would feel like a new game. Now, some of these mods, you know, for instance, the Re's Minimap mod, I don't understand why they wouldn't have added that into the game to start with. I mean, it's very useful, and everything about it just needs to be added to the game so that you don't have to install it as a mod because it's a very fantastic idea it's very dynamic and just makes sense to have so let's get started the first thing you're going to need is a reason minimap mod now you can download this from the description i'll leave links and basically you scroll down and you download it now it also says you need mod loader so you need to get mod loader as well this will allow you to run it you will also need to get sonic ethers um mod which will basically give your Minecraft a completely different feel now you want to download the core if you're on Windows and of course the other one if you're on Mac or whatever uh, I'm on Windows so I'm just going to cover Windows so you download the core which is version 8 these are version 9 out but that's only for ATI users um, so not going to bother with that I'm just going to use the default <laughs> that works basically so get the core now I don't really like the motion blur and depth of field so I'm going to go for no um, motion blur or depth of field so it basically will remove the um, jerkiness out of it which um, will in enhance the gameplay a lot more um, so that's what I want and also you will need Optifind um, in conjunction with the shader mod um, it basically works together so you, you do need both of them once you've downloaded all them you will come to your desktop and the first thing you need to do is open up Minecraft and you will need to do options, force update, done, and click login. Now this is going to basically bring your Minecraft back to the default. Um, because basically Minecraft isn't an installed game, it runs off an exe. So it kind of just puts it in your roaming folder. So it's not like you can go to file, um, uh, program files, and obviously uninstall it because it's, it's not actually installed. Um, it's basically running, fr you know, freehand, I guess. So it's kind of nice how Minecraft works like that. So this is why you have an option to force updates. So you can get everything back to uh, the normal. So here we go. So as you can see, if you do a force up update, you do keep your texture packs. You just don't keep your mods. So once you've done that, close it down. And um, the other thing to do now is go into here, into your search bar, and type in percent. App data percent. This will bring you to your roaming folder, and then you want to go into Minecraft. You want to go into the bin, and you want to go into Minecraft.jar. You can close the folder now because we don't need it. And um, this is the Minecraft.jar. You can open it with WinRAR, which is what I'm using, or you can even use uh, WinZip. But of course, WinRAR is a lot better. And here are all the files to do with Minecraft. Now we just want to add files, there's only going to be one file we delete and that is this file here, the meta.inf. So we're going to delete that to start off with. Now if you don't delete that you will get a black screen and it, it will just not work so make sure you delete that. Now the first thing we're going to, going to do is install Optifine. So I'm going to double click Optifine, I'm going to wait till this pop-up comes up, I'm going to close it. I'm going to select every single file here and I'm going to drag this over into my minecraft.jar there we go so I'm going to close that now and I'm going to open Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders Mods um, WinRAR file and I'm going to actually drag out the folder now the reason you drag out the folder is because this has got its own installer so you don't actually need to um, do anything so I'm going to go into the folder and click the installer and this will basically come up with um, this um, Nitros I just click install mods and it will initialize, unpack and repack. Now once that's done it will say installation complete, close that and you won't be able to see anything so hit the back button and then go back into Minecraft and you will see you get a few other options we're only um, interested in the shader folder. So I'm going to close down this folder, I'm going to open uh, the node depth of field and motion blur that we actually downloaded, I'm going to open that. I'm going to go into the um, Ultra folder, and here are the files. So on the Minecraft.jar, you want to go into the shaders, and you basically just want to swap these files around. Because the default one's inside the 
Uh, Minecraft.jar uh, do have motion blur depth of field on. We don't want that, but this is optional, so you don't have to do this. I just think it enhances the gameplay a lot more. So once that's done, you want to go back out of the shaders folder and you want to install mod loader. So just like the other files, you want to drag them all and drop them and click OK and it's going to install them for you. Now the last one is Reads Minimap. So again, drag and drop, very simple. Hit OK. And there we go, that is done. So now you can exit out of the Minecraft.jar because you have finished there. Open up your Minecraft, click login, and if you get past the Mojang sign without a black screen, you did it right. <laughs> if you've got a black screen, then you did it wrong. So all you need to do now is, uh, let me make this a little bit bigger for you guys. <clears throat> there we go. So we're going to go into single player, just any old world that I've got. And um, yeah, there we go. So as you can see... Everything looks really cool. You've got some really nice dynamic shadows. You've got the minimap um, in the top right. If you press M on your keyboard, you will bring up all the options for it. If you're on single play, it will pause your game. So um, that's, that's awesome. Multiplayer, it doesn't pause. So you've got waypoints where you can turn on waypoints, make waypoints. Um, if you want to make a waypoint, you press C on your keyboard. You type in the name and you can choose a different color. I'm going to choose like a, a nice tealy green something like that and then basically there we go so the waypoints have infinite distance so no matter how far away you go you will always see them um, in the distance on your um, on your screen as you can see we'll, we'll do the um cookies one so no matter how far away I go I will always see the name and the icon and then the distance so it's a very awesome um, just way of doing it really now you don't have to install MC patcher to if you're using um, I don't know a, a texture pack that uses HD textures the reason for that is because Optifine does it for you um, so if you install MC patcher then it won't work so you've just got to install Optifine that gives you all the um, information you need to have HD textures and of course HD water because it installs um, the properties to have animating trees and whatnot um, for instance, let me just show you a tree while we are here. So I'm going to grab this tree, scroll down, let's get me some bone meal, which is there. And then let's actually stick down a tree. And as you can see, they do, in fact, um, swirl around. And that's quite cool. Uh, this is just a simple um, noise texture that's animated and it just animates these now of course as you can see you can see gaps in the trees you can fix that by upping the um, tree textures so you know if you want to go into the settings you can it's just escape options video settings and you've got 10 times as many um, options you know, just basically go through these configure it how you want it you know if you want your settings low if it's a bit laggy for you then you know set it low um, add details you know details um, Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Clouds, grass, range. So, um, I don't know where trees are. We go trees. Let's turn trees on to fancy higher quality, slower. Um, as you can see, you've got some options. Default is set by default. You know, lower quality, faster, higher quality, slower. And so I'm going to keep it on fancy. And let's see. There we go. So now you can't really see the gaps, which is nice. So yeah. So that is basically um, Unbelievable Shader Mods, Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shader Mods. It's, it's very nice. And of course the um, Reason Minimap add-on. So I hope you like that guys. And um, if you want to view the map fully, you just press X. And as you can see, the, the map is dynamic. Um, it does have dynamic um, options on it. So you, obviously you can see in the top left, you can see it rotating. The um, red light. And that's obviously my redstone thing which is over here so so yeah guys that's pretty much it so i hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial i hope it helped you out installing this if you've got any problems you know watch the video again if you're still having problems then leave a comment about the problem and hopefully i can help you out so thank you for watching and i will catch you in the next episode peace guys